Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Warnock, Senior Application Scientist at PMOD, and this will be a general video about what PMOD can do for you in your research projects. I'm hoping that many of you are new to PMOD, so I've started with a spoiler right on the title page. PMOD is a com complete modular image analysis solution useful for PET, SPECT, MR and CT data. We specialize in full PET quantification, namely using kinetic modeling and parametric mapping. I'd like to start by going over a few of the major features of PMOD. So as I mentioned, it's really a comprehensive image processing tool, including many segmentation tools useful for the modalities that I've just mentioned and shown on screen here. It's useful for both animal and human imaging modalities. We deal with all major image formats and have a built-in DICOM database, including study management features. We offer you best-in-class volume of interest tools for segmentation and with a reference software for kinetic modeling and parametric mapping. We also have dedicated solutions for automatic brain analysis, automatic cardiac PET quantification, and PET segmentation tools, which includes a workflow for persist oncology analysis and automated organ segmentation workflows. You can contact us at any time. We're active now during EMIM, but you can also contact us via our website where you can find more information about the software and request trial installations via contact at info at pmod.com. You can ask for quotes. You can find out more about our training and support packages. And if you are already a PMOD user and you have a support request, you can contact us directly at support at pmod.com. At any of the major conferences that we're involved in, you can contact us directly, or you can also contact us via our group of colleagues. And hopefully you're familiar with our service point concept where we can help you work on your data on the spot. So it's always nice to put some faces to the people you're emailing or generally to remember that real people are behind the product you use. So here you see our PMOD team on a day out pre-coronavirus. You've got our head office team from Zurich, developer team from Warsaw, and our distributors from Japan. And in this picture you see us all on top of Pilatus, which is one of the more popular mountains to visit in Switzerland. So as I mentioned right at the start of the presentation, PMOD is a modular toolbox providing the solutions you need for all aspects of PET and SPECT analysis. That's incorporating corresponding CT and MRI and even including a lot of features for standalone MRI and CT as well. PMOD is widely used in brain research, but is also used in heart and oncology studies and in the evaluation of new PET traces. That research has covered a wide range of species from humans and rodents, to monkeys, pigs, and even chicken embryos. To the right of the text on this slide, you can see the modules available in our main toolbar. And of course, you can find out more about those specific modules on our website, pmod.com. The selection of images shown here on the slide highlights our image display, fusion, and capture capabilities. They show you the application of brain atlases for reproducible and automated pet quantification. They show you human whole body persist oncology analysis, and they show you the attractive 3D rendering possibilities. On top of this, we help you extract accurate statistics from your images at all levels of analysis. And putting all of those tools into one convenient package means that we're proud to call ourselves the Swiss knife of quantification. We're also very proud of our publication record, with PMOD cited in more than 2,500 papers, specifically 437 in 2018 and 492 in 2019, representing nearly 9% of the PET MeSH term literature. PMOD's speciality is fully quantitative PET. This means deriving physiologically quantified information from dynamic PET data. For those not familiar with dynamic PET, this is the continuous acquisition of data from the time of injection, 
normally meaning a focus on a single organ such as the brain. Mathematical models are used to describe the tracer kinetics and for the most detailed models the arterial tracer concentration has to be measured as well. And then using these models is referred to as kinetic modeling. In small animals the workflow is similar but of course the size of the field of view is generally much larger compared to the subject. In the case of a 150 millimeter field of view you can image both the brain and much of the body which can make it possible to get an image derived input function. Nevertheless, the gold standard is still blood sampling, which is possible in mouse and rats using a setup like the one shown on the right hand side of this slide. Kinetic modeling allows us to achieve the goal of going beyond SUV and the tools in PMOD allow you to extract time activity curves from the PET data, an example of which are shown here in the center of the slide. When that's combined with the arterial blood concentration, seen on the right of the, of the slide for the same experiment, we can use models such as the two tissue compartment model, shown on the lower right, and extract information about the tracer transport and receptor binding. Then applying kinetic modeling in every voxel of a PET image is known as parametric mapping. Here you can see an example from our users at the Medical University of Vienna showing 3D maps of serotonin 1A receptor binding created in PMOD's parametric mapping tool, PXMOD. Cardiac PET is another excellent example of full quantification from dynamic measurements. In our PCARD tool, dynamic PET data from rest and stress measurements can be analyzed automatically. The myocardium and left ventricle are identified, then kinetic modeling is applied, in the recognized territories of the myocardium. Using traces such as ammonia, rubidium, and water, we can quantify perfusion and identify deficits under stress. And then by using FDG, we can quantify glucose consumption. Gated PET and MR can also be analyzed so that you can quantify the ejection fraction. As you know, imaging is a critical part of the evaluation of new radio tracers, as well as the final goal. And PMOD gives you all of the tools you need to analyze, present, and of course, publish those results. So beyond looking at whether your tracer hits the target, we're interested in the biodistribution, potentially the whole body kinetics. Then we can move on to the actual pharmacokinetics in the target organ, look at pharmacology, which we'll talk about more in the upcoming slides, optimize our imaging protocol, then move on to the real details of quantification, occupancy studies, proving the principle of the tracer in animal models, and whether it can be used reproducibly before finally getting into man, and then even thinking about human dosimetry studies and going on with further research studies. In the next slides, I'll show you several examples of PMOD in action from papers published by our users. Here you see receptor occupancy data from the development of a tracer for the NMDA receptor subunit GLU-N2B. In fact, the authors discovered that the R and S enantiomers of the tracer had a very different affinity for sigma-1 as well as GLU-N2B. And after separating the enantiomers, they quantified the brain uptake of the R enantiomer using PMOD, including blocking with three doses of the competitor, and could generate the occupancy curve shown in the center of the slide. In this big body of work from the Molecular Imaging Center at the University of Antwerp in Belgium, they used several tracers in a mouse model of Huntington's disease. They used PMOD to analyze their dynamic PET data and fully quantified receptor binding. They used our brain atlas and image registration tools and carefully validated the methods they would use to get the best power from their studies. PMOD has also been used in more exotic models. In this case, you can see images of chicken embryos and tumors still inside the egg in work that I was involved in myself some years ago. At the University of Liège in Belgium, we used the chorioallantoic membrane of the developing chicken embryo as a tumor model. On the left, you see a 3D rendering made in PMOD. 
showing the validation study with sodium fluoride PET and contrast enhanced CT. In the center, you see FTG uptake in a U87 glioblastoma grown inside the shell. And on the right, the kinetics of FTG in such a glioblastoma using dynamic imaging. Once you're able to progress into humans, radiation dosimetry studies are increasingly required so that you can find the effective dose to the major organs and keep this within safe limits. We have a processing workflow to help you through the preparation of accumulated organ activities that you'll need for those dosimetry calculations. This includes merging of the serial whole body scans, our best in class segmentation tools, and an our kinetic modeling tool to extrapolate the full cumulated activity. In these papers from the University Hospital in Zurich and from Stanford University, you can find out more about the methods used and particularly this exciting new tracer for pyruvate kinase M2. As you saw earlier, our speciality over the years has been fully quantitative PET in the brain. In this study that I was involved in at the University Hospital in Zurich, we combined the first in man study of a fluorinated MGLUR5 tracer with quantitative blood flow using oxygen 15 water and arterial blood sampling. And that allowed us to use PMOD to characterize the extraction of the tracer, as well as separate transport and binding using kinetic modeling and parametric mapping. Our neuro tool actually makes it possible to fully automate brain studies, including brain atlases, templates, partial volume correction, and even parametric mapping. In this study from the University of Munich in Germany, the authors used pneuro to process more than 1,000 subjects from the ADNI database using three detailed workflows and with a success rate of processing above 95%. They were able to optimize the reference region that they used for amyloid assessment and show that the partial volume correction was actually useful. In PMOD version 4.2, we're adding an exciting artificial intelligence framework to our segmentation tool PSEG. And this will have particular advantages for the users, shielding you from the complex AI toolboxes but leveraging the functionality from TensorFlow. All of the steps that you need to use the machine learning segmentation can be performed within PMOD. You can generate your learning set, which means processing your images, adding them to a database, creating your segmentation pairs. You can perform the training of your neural network based on those learning sets. And then of course you can use that network for prediction in other words, for your image segmentation, an example of which is shown in the top right for brain tumor segmentation. And the time consuming learning step is already ready to be performed using Amazon's AWS cloud computing. Then we're also introducing a dedicated brain analysis tool for rodents based on our successful neuro tool for human brain Petamar. PNROD will support workflows really tailored to those rodent brain images, working with single or dual modality data from mice and rats. It will support PET CT workflows, PET MR workflows, but also standalone PET or MR or CT. It will handle hybrid data as well as non matched data, for example, a standalone MR system to get that anatomical information to add to your PET CT data. It will include various brain atlases. And as well as the non-rigid matching methods, we will also include affine, rigid, and manual matching to solve all kinds of problems that you might encounter. And we're also including templates so that you can work with CT-based spatial normalization. So in summary, PMOD is a comprehensive toolbox for your multimodality image analysis. We specialize in fully quantitative PET including automation of brain analysis. We're very proud of our training and support activity and proud to be the Swiss knife of quantification. Don't forget to find more on our website and feel free to get in touch, for example, at info at as shown here.